Hello, welcome to an update of Hairstrand Designer, now at version V1.2634. In this version, I've updated the preview to show a few more strands. That is six strands per set maximum, and that just optimizes things whilst you're looking at how your strands could look before rendering. That is to generate here, okay? So what you wanna do is just change your values and things here. Your root scale actually is the root tone coverage, which will be updated to a slider just under this in a future version, and similarly the tip scale. So you can change these colors on the fly to see how they look in real time. And um, when you're happy with everything, you just click generate. It will generate the hairs and it will switch automatically to the color map. As long as the color map's enabled, otherwise it's gonna to default to the RGB mask. Um, each time you generate, it's going to switch to one of these two masks. In a future version, it's going to stay on the map that you have got currently selected as long as it, as it is enabled. Okay, so you see that as soon as I start changing some of these, it jumps into preview mode. There's no um, small window for the preview mode, like you don't see the little green uh, navigator square. And that's because this is already like updating in real time. I don't want to cost more time doing updates in real time. And you don't really need to zoom into these because they're really kind of pixely anyway. They're super optimized just to get, you know, get you thinking about how they're going to look. If you want <coughs> to keep this algorithm, you can switch the randomization off and then generate. And it will attempt to generate using a similar kind of function and you'll get similar looking strands. So as soon as I start to change some of these settings and generate again, you see it's keeping the same seed value. Um, another little feature of the previewer, if you press space, it will dance, press space to dance, and that just randomizes the seed value here, gives you different values. You know, if you're happy with this one, then you can go ahead and generate from there. Okay, so that's give you a slightly different algorithm. You can go ahead and change things like variation. And you see what that does is it, stop, it stops some of the strands shorter than normal. So with variation all the way down, the strands tend to stay the same length. And with variation up, the strands will be at different lengths. Now, as before, you can override these lengths and the counts. The only limitation is it will max off at six uh, strands only in viewing, the previewing. So if I had this set at like I don't know, 20 strands. It's not gonna update in preview mode. It's only gonna show when you generate, like so. Okay, so that's the update. Um, everything else is the same. Uh, just the, the main update is that I've enabled you to see some of the strands uh, get updated here based on their numbers. So they max off at six, just for optimization. I'll give some options to this later so that you can have more strands for less detail and things like that. So you get an idea of like how everything's gonna look uh, before you click generate. Um, by default, color map and mask map are always uh, enabled when you start up, but you can disable the, the color map and generate just so that you only see this RGB mask. And that way it gets a faster generate process. Then when you're happy, you can, you know, you can check how each map looks you know, and just enable everything, generate. That would take a little bit longer because it's, it's generating each map. The AO map does four passes, so that takes a little bit longer. And uh, your ID map has two options for st strand mode or set mode. Strand mode will attempt to uh, colorize each strand individually and set mode will colorize each set individually. So I'll just show you both of these. So you have to click on ID map. Uh, also, at the current time being when you generate it's going to jump back to RGB mask because it doesn't think you've got ID map on but I'm going to update that so that it goes to whatever map you're on as long as it's enabled otherwise it will switch to color map and if that's disabled it will switch back to RGB mask just to show you what you've managed to generate okay so that's the strand mode and set mode you'll see it doesn't do individual strands but the sets and that's good because if you've got um, your distancing set so that they all kind of overlap and things to get, you know, maybe a single bunch and you've got, you know, different values there for tapering and different variation of those, um, then that's pretty nice, right? So 
in the future you'll be able to place these sets and overlap them and things and have different different algorithms to them so you can do your clumping quite easily that way uh, I might introduce clumping to the, the this kind of global algorithm here so that you've got it automatically I've increased the range of your set distancing so it goes far and beyond the screen even though you don't see it because in the future I might want to do these kind of uh, two by one ratio maps so I'm already kind of like working towards that I've also increased the distancing that you can set each strand bear in mind you might lose a little bit in the left here so you can change the variation until you get something like that that's not out there but bear in mind when you generate there's going to be way more strands than what you see here so if I generate now you'll see that Wait a second, quite a lot of strands, 531 strands takes a bit longer than normal, so yeah, there you go. So I think it would just, yeah, just got out there, you can see it's doing this uh, bleed here. So you have to be careful with that. Um, I will introduce some other kind of offsets from the edge. So there's a lot of new features creeping in and a lot of things still to iron out, but it's perfectly usable at this point in time. And the preview is, I think the main sort of selling point of this update, uh, especially that it now gets affected by strands and reduction, so it saves a bit of confusion there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Again, any comments, leave leave them in the video comments, uh, suggestions and things. I will try to do certain things, but I'm kind of hitting limitations now, and I've got a big list to do. So if you want to check this out on ArtStation, there's a link to the Trello board where I show different things I want to cover. Um, so if I jump to this here, you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of things that I want to cover in here. And if you go to ArtStation, you'll see that I'm now, I'm now 31st best selling. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm on trending and I'm here. Uh, if you want to search for it, just type in here and it's one of them will come up yeah, it's the first one that comes up for here um strands i guess it should be yeah that's also there um i'm basically competing with um this kind of thing but this is a plugin for substance but i really want to pull off this this flow map uh that this guy's got a uh, really nice directional map thing and i'm still working on it so i might even purchase this just to see like how that's achieved. Um, there's a lot of good features in this that are very similar to what I'm doing as well, but this requires Substance Designer is the, the only difference, I guess. But some cool stuff. I think recently the price got re reduced uh, a little bit, so it looks like more affordable as well. Um, oh yeah, so Indie license, so there's bit of a discount on that so I totally recommend giving this a go if you've got Substance Designer it does a bit more than what Mines does uh, a good bit and the algorithm here looks quite nice as well uh, you can see the kind of sets that that produces so I'm not going to knock this as a, you know, a different option but if you like just the one stop solution for hairs and you want to just like get some you know quick strands out uh, a bit of tapering and things then yeah this is this is the way to go you can override these sets and different numbers and then you know just generate your color maps and all that stuff um i'll be adding more features as time goes by this has only been the first month uh, working on this so it got released on the 14th of april and it's now what the 11th of may so there will be lots more still to do before i decide to call this um done uh, it's a version 1.2634, but really it's version 0 0.2634 if you think about it. Uh, I'm calling it version 1 because it is, you know, the first release of this kind of thing that I've created. And I will work on another version 2 next year, which will be created in Unity instead of Game Maker, because I think I can do things a bit faster. This is the, the high prototype, if you think. Like, once I've got all this worked out and all the things I want then I don't have to spend as much time on a version 2 and I can streamline the process a bit. So this is the testing ground and seeing what you guys want and make sure you know, I'm covering as much uh, maps as possible. So that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoy using this product. Catch it on ArtStation. If you could, please go to the website base store. So um, if you go to, uh, if, well, if there's a way to view on web, 
here, but um, yeah. Anyway, there's a, a web website, right? So if you go to ArpStation, Robert Ramsey um, a store, right? ArpStation, Robert Ramsey store, and then J7PY. Uh, that will come up with the hair strand designer and that's you buying it then from the web side I think which means I get a little bit more cut from it than ArtStation and that helps me a bit more. Uh, I'm also selling hair shader UE4 which uh, uses the RGB type texture to create some nice effects and uses um, uses that so you can customize your colors in here and you can bring it bring in any maps that you generate bring in your mesh and that's you got a nice shader that's game ready there's a lot of cool features with this and I'm currently updating that you do get the hair strand designer with this as well so uh, I'm trying to keep you know both this and this version together so you see if this is version 1.2634 so will uh, this be that way you know that I've updated both of them and uh, there's a couple other things here that's a unity eye shader Unreal Engine Hand with customized textures. This is some reference photos from London, and this is some blood decal stuff for Unity as well. So, yeah, check check these out if you can. Um, feel free to comment and like and subscribe to my channel, and also check me out on Twitch, where I'll be sort of streaming every couple of weeks the uh, the current developments of this. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.